In a world of ever-increasing cost pressure, investment decisions need to be made more selectively. Increasing renewable generation has been transforming low and medium voltage networks from passive into active networks. Generation can no longer be assumed to be available all the time. These trends have created a real demand to know exactly what is going on in the low voltage system and with it the need for more precise network models. PSS Syncal's Load Profile module provides just the tools for this task. Profiles can be defined to simulate typical consumer and generator groups, and a probabilistic approach is used to solve the load flow problem in a dynamic way in order to achieve the most exact modeling. PSS Syncal can even work as a state estimator for low voltage networks and moves into the area of network operations planning. The load profile calculation settings can be set under Calculation Settings in the tab Load Flow Ext. Here, a start time, duration, and time step for the simulation can be set. The reference data is set in basic data, in view date. A load flow calculation will then be performed for each time step, but more than being a series of load flows, the module determines the current operating state of loads and generation power at each step, leading to a more precise model of network behavior in a dynamic sense. Load and generation profiles are defined under data, load flow, operating points, profiles. In this example, the following load profiles have been defined. To add a new profile, click on New. A name can be given, followed by a short name. Profiles can be entered as absolute values or as relative ones in the form of factors. The base duration defines the length of one cycle in the profile setting. The cycle will then be repeated for the duration of the simulations. As collected meter data is in the form of energy, a conversion needs to be made to power. PSS Syncal uses an exponential underlying model for the mapping. The parameter power, A1 and B1, are parameters for this conversion. Reduction factors are used to stochastically model individual consumption behavior, allowing PSS Syncal to achieve a more exact load modeling in distribution networks. Reduction occurs only to consumers of the same type, that are in radial subnetworks at the low voltage side of the same feeder. In this network, these three consumers are of the same type and form a radial subnetwork on one feeder. What's modeled here are households, with a consumer and a photovoltaic generator. The probability of each consumer being active will vary stochastically and therefore a reduction factor can be applied. The higher the number of similar consumers, the less likely they will be simultaneously active, and more loads of this type can be reduced. At any given node, only the number of similar consumers downstream are considered for the reduction factor. In this node, one consumer is downstream. However, at this node, three like consumers are downstream, leading to a different reduction factor. Injections are then internally added in solving the load flow problem at each node to dynamically compensate for the varied diversity factor. In so doing, this probabilistic approach ensures PSS Syncal's load profile module provides the most exact load modeling in distribution networks. For the user, profiles can be generated from different sources. Existing profiles, as part of industry standards, can be imported and applied. Equally, historic meter data can also be imported and applied as profiles. In this network, electric vehicle charging stations have been modeled. Field data has been collected and imported as profiles. This makes the resulting network model much closer to real life. Existing profiles can be imported under File, Import. Data can be imported from different sources, from other Syncal networks, or through Excel files. Here in the Data Assignment tab, Operating Points Profiles and Profile Values can be selected and Data Elements selected. Once defined, the load profile can be assigned to loads through the Network Editor. In this example, the load 
Load 1 is a single phase load of type PQ constant. It has been assigned this profile. A second profile with relative factors can be assigned in profile 2, and both can be multiplied. For example, a yearly profile with a steadily increasing load can be applied in conjunction with a daily profile, which describes the daily consumption pattern. First, we will remove the profile and run a load profile simulation. Under Calculate, Load Flow, Load Profile. A diagram has been inserted in the network editor to illustrate different results. Here, the load on node R load is plotted. Without the profile, it is easy to see that the active and reactive load stays constant over all time periods as expected. Now go back and apply the original profile. To see this in detail, click on the arrow key. It is possible to see this is a relative profile defined over a 24-hour period in quarter-hourly steps. Our plot over time shows that the profile exhibits two peaks between 8 and 13 hours, and between 17 and 19 hours. Now run the load profile simulation. The resulting load on the node R load now varies according to the profile, increasing gradually at the start. At around 9, the load increase has led to a voltage drop outside the permissible range. As a result, the load has been shed, leading to a sudden drop to zero on this diagram. Later in the day, a second block of load shedding occurs, corresponding to the second peak in load profile. In this network, it is now possible to simulate the switching in of a battery element with a dynamic controller, programmed to regulate the voltage at node R load. By acting in feeding mode when the control voltage has reached 98%, and acting in storage mode when the control voltage exceeds 102%. Again, Perform a load profile calculation. To see more detailed results, insert a new diagram plotting the energy level in battery 5. Here, it is possible to see the battery discharges as the load increases until it is empty. Once the load has been shed, the battery starts recharging until it reaches its full capacity. At the node, it's possible to see that by having the battery in the network helps smooth out the node voltage and leads to less shedding and reconnectory fluctuations. By applying PSS Sinkar's load profile module, the user can achieve the most exact modeling of loads and generation in low voltage networks for optimal planning of investments and generation availability.